Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is Wednesday, December the 16th. Let us begin with our Advent prayer for today. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, in the darkness of these Advent nights, let us be guided by the light of your word. Give us the humility to be led by you and the wisdom to learn from you. We feel your light in our lives and in the world. We are grateful for the Savior who awaits us and eagerly awaits the time of rejoicing. Let us look forward in hope and turn to you with great trust, knowing you will guide our steps along the unknown path of this day. Amen. Today's reading is from Hebrews. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For many of us, this holiday season brings home the challenges and weaknesses of the human condition. In addition to the loneliness that some people will feel, there is also the stress of balancing the holidays with the demands of regular life. Advent reminds us that God truly does understand our pains, limitations, and difficulties because he entered into them with us. Jesus knows what you're going through and promises you that he is coming soon. Our closing prayer. Lord, some days in this season can be really hard. We pray that you give us the grace we need to make it through this day. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, Sacred Heart. I know that you can't really see Ryan's shirt all that closely, but it is a Twilight Zone shirt. It is a fantastic shirt. I love this shirt that Ryan's wearing today. And it's a show. It is a show, but um, I kid you not, this is not the Twilight Zone in here today. Yee! We are super happy to have Emma and Ryan up here this morning. A few reminders for me, of course. <laughs> Wear your masks. Make sure you're using hand sanitizer when you're coming into the building after lunch. Okay. And uh, you guys want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas? Yeah, Merry Christmas. Okay. Hey, by the way, hi, Chase, Fisher, and Owen. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Sacred Heart, Merry Christmas from Hawaii. Tomorrow is Ugly Sweater Day. So your Montreal Canadian sweaters and your ugly Christmas sweater, Sacred Heart. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
collecting items for the food bank. Tomorrow we are looking for cans of green beans. Tomorrow will be a great day to catch up on any items you missed in the calendar. And a, and a message from Miss Lowerson's class. 122 items for the food drive is the amount to beat. So it's almost Christmas break, guys. Tomorrow's the last day. Um, it's really important that we keep bringing in these items. And happy birthday goes to Elissa Emsley. Happy birthday, Sacred Heart. Tell me the one about the virus again, then I'll go to bed. But my boy, you're growing weary, sleepy thoughts about your head. Please, that one's my favorite. I promise just once more. Okay, snuggle down, my boy, though I know you know full well. The story starts before then, in a world I once would dwell. It was a world of waste and wonder, of poverty and plenty back before we understood why hindsight's 2020. You see, the people came up with companies to trade across all lands, but they swelled and got much bigger than we ever could have planned. We'd always had our wants, but now it got so quick. You could have anything you dreamed of in a day and with a click. We noticed families had stopped talking. That's not to say they never spoke, but the meaning must have melted and the work-life balance broke, and the children's eyes grew squarer, and every toddler had a phone. They filtered out the imperfections, but amidst the noise, they felt alone. And every day the skies grew thicker, till you couldn't see the stars. So we flew in planes to find them, while down below, we filled our cars. We'd drive around all day in circles. We'd forgotten how to run, we swapped the grass for tarmac, shrunk the parks till there were none. We filled the sea with plastic, because our waste was never capped. Until each day when you went fishing, you'd pull them out, already wrapped. And while we drank and smoked and gambled, our leaders taught us why. It's best to not upset the lobbies. More convenient. But then in 2020, a new virus came our way. The governments reacted and told us all to hide away. But while we all were hidden, amidst the fear and all the while, the people dusted off their instincts. They remembered how to smile. They started clapping to say thank you and calling up their mums. And while the car keys gathered dust, they would look forward to their runs. And with the skies less full of voyagers, the earth began to breathe, and the beaches bore new wildlife that scuttled off into the seas. Some people started dancing, some were singing, some were baking. We'd grown so used to bad news, but saw good news was in the making. And so when we found the cure, and were allowed to go outside, we all preferred the world we found to the one we'd left behind. Old habits became extinct, and they made way for the new. And every simple act of kindness was now given its due. But why did it take a virus to bring the people back together? Well, sometimes you've got to get sick, my boy, before you start feeling better. Now lie down and dream of tomorrow and all the things that we can do. And who knows, if you dream hard enough, maybe some of them will come true. We now call it the Great Realization and yes, since then, there have been many. But that's the story of how it started and why hindsight's 2020. <laughs>